Hello, mappers and OpenStreetMap enthusiasts. I am excited to be here at Connect 2020 with you all. And today I wanted to talk about MapRoulette and I wanted to do a little bit more of an advanced level presentation about how to become a power challenge maker. So if you find this all going too fast, there's gonna be resources at the end, so, uh, so bear with me. I'm going to introduce today cooperative challenges. So what are those? Um, we have three types of MapRoulette challenges. There's classic challenges, which is the one you're, ones you're probably familiar with, um, that basically let the mapper do all the editing themselves. There's tag fix challenges, which I won't be talking about today. Uh, and then there's cooperative challenges where uh, that have already the task data that you would want mappers to add included as OSM change, and they can then be presented as layer in JOSM. Right now, only JOSM ID is not supported yet. So it can save the mappers a bunch of work by already doing a lot of the work for them. That's why they're called cooperative. So I want to talk about how to create those. Basic workflow, you create the OSM change data, then you convert it to a MapRoulette challenge GeoJSON file that MapRoulette can, can understand, and then you create the challenge itself. So let me walk you through that. So first you create the OSM change file. This can actually be OSM change XML or JOSM XML, both well-documented XML file formats that describe changes uh, in OSM data. So differences between data A and data B. Um, so the easiest way to do that is actually to load, uh, to change the data in JOSM as you would if you were mapping it yourself. Uh, you can do that uh, automatically or uh, manually and then save those changes as a JOSM XML file from JOSM. So you have that XML file uh, ready. Uh, you can then use our command line tool that we have to convert this to GeoJSON. So this command line tool uh, does only that one thing. You can install it using NPM, so it requires Node to be installed in your machine. And after you do that, uh, you will have the MR uh, command line uh, command at your disposal. Uh, so the way that works is um, you do mr co-op change and you give the input file, uh, the OSM ch change file that you created with JOSM just now, uh, and it will output the GeoJSON file that MapRoulette can understand. This will take a little bit of time depending on how much data there is for uh, in the challenge. Uh, it will create one task for each change in the source file. So basically what it will do is to, to turn what you see on the left, which is JOSM XML, to GeoJSON uh, that, ma that MapRoulette can understand on the right. So this is just standard GeoJSON. The only, uh, the only special thing about it is that it has properties uh, that contain the task metadata and encode also the XML, uh, the, the OSC, OSM change data in it. Um, so this is just valid GeoJSON. You could also load it into QGIS or whatever. Uh, so let's look at an example. So let's say I have here a task. It looks like a normal MapRoulette task, right? So you have here a, a thing that uh, that the challenge maker would want you to focus on. This is in this case this is a cattle grid, a cattle guard um, uh, location from uh, from data from the state of Utah that where I live, uh, and it's not in OSM yet. But you can see it clearly here on the imagery. It's there. So um, so we need to add it. So when you click edit. So far, so good. It also looks like a normal looks like a normal um, challenge. So when you click edit, basically what happens is there is um, uh, there is you see the data being loaded as as usual, but you also see that there is already a cattle grid node that appears in the that appears in the uh, in the in the data layer. So you can basically all you have to do now is to if if Jossum hadn't crashed on me, you would drag that to the right location, and uh, and join it with the existing way to make it uh, to uh, to complete the task. And uh, in this case, you would only have to drag it to this to the location here at the end, and uh, upload the results. Um, apparently, Jossum doesn't want to cooperate, but you get the you get the idea. You would drag this, uh, join it with the way, and upload it. So it will save the mapper a bunch of work because they don't have to draw this node, they don't have to put in the tags, uh, they only have to take the node that was already uploaded by MapRoulette and uh, and bring it to this, uh, bring it to that location, join it, and upload it. So it saves you about half the time, I would say. Um, in some cases, it could be more depending on the type of work that you already have encoded in the task. Right? You could have visits like buildings, for example, that have been pre uh, preloaded, and you would just have to kind of drag them and maybe modify them a little bit, and you're done as a mapper.
So I think there's lots of, lots of possibilities with these new types of map related challenges. Um, I wanted to look, have you look at a few resources. Uh, let me see, we'll go back to the presentation. Um, so we have source code for the MRCLI tool. We have a detailed explanation of cooperative challenges on learn.maproulette.org, which is our new learning site for Maproulette. We have Twitter, we have Slack, we have email. There's an example here. And if it's all too fast, five minutes, um, then you can learn all about it on learn.maproulette.org. Thanks for joining.